For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you two methods for adding labels to the top of stacked bars in Tableau. So first, let's go ahead and build a simple chart. Uh, maybe we want to put region in the columns and we're going to just build a stacked bar chart. Sales in the rows, and perhaps we want to maybe color these by order priority. Okay, so we get this little breakdown now. And if I turn labels on by clicking the little ABC, you'll see I got labels on every individual bar. But what I really want is I want, when I uh, for central, for example, I want the top of central to say 2.5 million. So I only want one label on here, and I want it to be at the top. All right, so let's turn labels back off. And the first option is to right-click on the axis and choose Add Reference Line. And we're going to do it by cell. And I'm going to go ahead and move the dialog box over to the right so you can see what's happening in the background. And I'm going to make it a sum. And I'm going to do the sum of sales. And I'm going to show the value in the label. And I'm going to set the line to none. And then probably go ahead and turn off the recalculation and hit OK. And now you can see we've got these nice labels at the top. Now one of the things that Tableau does in version 9 is you need to format these because the labels are left justified by default. So I'm going to go ahead and set them to center justified. So that's the first option. And let's go ahead and rename this sheet then. Let's call this our reference line method. The second way, so let's go ahead and do another new sheet. Let's put region up here again, and let's do sales, and uh, let's break it down by order priority. Okay, so we got the same view again. <clears throat> so the second option here is to drag sales to the row shelf again, and go ahead and make it a dual axis. And then I'm going to right click on the, axis, or on the right axis and choose synchronize. All right, but now we've got a bunch of dots, so we need to do some cleanup. So the first thing is I'm going to go to the first sum of sales and change it back to a bar chart. And there's my stacking, which I like. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the second sum of sales. I'm going to remove order priority. And then I'm going to change my, my mark type to a Gantt bar. And you can see we've got these faint gray bars at the top. That's good. And then from there, I need to click on the label shelf choose show mark labels and you can see those are center aligned so that's nice and then I want to go ahead and click on the color shelf and set the transparency to zero so that that little gray bar disappears and then from there what I would do is because my axes are the same on both sides I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck the show header option there and we'll call this one our Gantt bar method and there you go those are two quick ways to add your totals to the top of stacked bars. Hope that helps you. Have a great day.